Hey guys, Edgar9-2106 here, and today I'm going to be playing some Splatoon 2, and I'm going to be playing the latest Splatfest, Salsa vs. Guacamole. They've been updated again? Wow. Right after the freaking thing. Wow. Okay. So let's see what they've updated it to. So I've already played just a little bit. I've already played, and I'm a Salsa Fiend. The squid crew. The hell? Okay. Dang. Oh yes, this is gonna be a good advantage. Okay. Probably only gonna play like what two or three matches in this video. So yeah. Oh yeah. Yes! Got one guy. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, oh, god dang it. No, 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 no. Why near me? Oh my god, that dude was coming right after me. Yeah, it's not looking so well right now. But we could easily go ahead and... Take the win. If we just try. There we go. So just a little bit more, and there we go. Get on my level. Alright. Oh, good. I'm actually doing very well with the .52 gal, which is a weapon I haven't really used in a while up until now, up until the Splatfest earlier today. I started playing earlier in the morning. See? I'm actually doing well. Oh my god. Spoke too soon. Oh, uh, we're not doing so well. What the hell? Dang it. That wasn't such a strong start, now was it? Okay, I th so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a couple more, or maybe one or two more, like normal- The Squid Syndicate, wow. The Variety Mob. Whoa, these names are like on another level. <laughs> these names. I like the Squid Syndicate though. Oh my god. The Squid Syndicate. So that's the name of their like squad? Or. Hmm. Because that's what I've been noticing. I'm sorry if I'm a little new to this and stuff, but I, I, I really am. I really am a little new to the whole changes in Splatoon 2. So, like I said, what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and play some more. I'm gonna go ahead and play some normal matches, maybe one or two, and then go switch off the pro. I'm gonna try and see if I could do that. Dang it. I really should have went the other way. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna have to go all the way over there. I think we're doing fairly well. Like. Dang. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. If we keep it up and we keep getting more, like, ink on their turf, then we could possibly go ahead and win. Alright. The gates are down. Oh, yeah, that's right. There are gates in this uh, stage. Wow. That dude was not doing a thing. He didn't pay any attention to me. Oh, my God. Alright. Gotta go ahead and get some more ink around here. Okay. Gotta wait for the right opportune time. And here we go. There we go. 
got that guy again. Okay. Oh no, it's that other freaking person that killed me. Oh no, 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 I'm not going with that again. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh my god. Killed him, but at a cost of my own life. Okay. Oh god, I really hope we won this one. Yeah, I think we won this one. Yep. All right. Yeah, because there was a little bit of uh, like of their ink splattered onto like our base, so I thought, oh, maybe we're gonna lose. But thank God we won. All right. Let's see. 2,054 cloud. Dang. Okay. Oh, my squat is tea. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is do as I promised and go ahead and try and see uh, what Splatfest Battle Pro is all about. Whoa, we're going against ourselves now? Oh no. Salsa power is in. Oh, okay, so we have the most uh, salsa power over here in terms of that. Okay. So we're basically going against our own team. Hmm, that's strange. I think that's what they did with the first game. Think like I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's intentional. I don't know why, but that's usually what happens in the first game as well. That's what happened a couple of times, I think. Oh okay. God, it can get intense. Actually, no. Ranked battles can get more intense than this. Like ranked battles, like Rainmaker. Or Splat Zones, they get really intense. And even Clam Blitz. I actually like that. Well, Clam Blitz. I actually think it's alright. Okay. Gonna have to go this way, I guess. No! Come on! Jedi Master, okay. Looks like we're winning so far, so... Let's keep it that way for the next 32 seconds. Hmm. Oh, nice. Got him. I think I'm actually doing very well, like I said, with the .52 gal. I think that's what it's called, yeah. The .52 gal. I think I'm actually doing very well with this one. I actually put the special at the last minute. Oh my god. Nice! We won that one. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna play some uh, pro battles from now on since... I mean, I don't see the difference, but then again, maybe we get more points that way, I guess? Or maybe it's for more competitive players. Splatfest, normal mode. Okay, so here we go. Normal mode, you can jump into a normal Splatfest battle on your own or join up with one to three friends, one to three friends from the same Splatfest team. In this mode, the amount of, the amount you inked is added to any win bonus you get to determine your clout. If your team is on a win streak, the game will try you against teams with a similar streak. Oh, okay. Pro is for those who want to go solo and push themselves to the limit. In pro mode, you judge your, you're judged on your Splatfest power, raise it high enough, and you can make it into the Splatfest Top 100. What? Oh my god. In this mode, you increase your clout by beating the opposing team. You get more clout for beating teams with a higher Splatfest power. Okay. The final Splatfest results are decided based on three factors. Votes, Cloud from Normal Mode players, and Cloud from Pro Mode players. Okay. Okay, so finally we're in a game with a guacamole team instead of our own, like, salsa team. So, that's good. Okay. This is good. This is good. Because I, I, I actually want to get more Cloud. It's 
Not that I wanted to wuss out of like being in pro mode. Cause yeah, cause I didn't want to wuss out of being in pro mode, but I want to try and get more clout. And maybe after I'm done, after I'm done recording, hopefully I could go ahead and play some more, um, play some more, uh, pro mode. Until then, I'm just gonna play some, uh, I'm just gonna play some normal mode. Oh my god, Patrick. Okay, so finally, as if I'm recording this and hopefully, or actually, yeah, I need to put a disclaimer right now. Um, sorry about that, but I nearly forgot about this, but by the time this video is uploaded, I'm guessing it's probably going to be uploaded, like, I'd say probably around, probably around, like, the day after the Splatfest on Sunday or something, so yeah, by, the, by that time, like, the Splatfest results will be in, and yeah, hopefully Salsa wins. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. Also, by the time this is uploaded, like like I said, this will be probably like the day after this by fist. Like, the results will probably already be in and stuff. So, and not to mention, like, Smash Ultimate is nearly upon us. So that's pretty awesome that the um, Smash Ultimate is finally nearly upon us on like December 7th. So I, I kind of am looking forward to it. So uh, yeah, I might get that game. I'm or actually, I'm definitely getting that game since the story mode actually looks pretty, pretty good so far. Uh, after I saw that Smash Direct a while back, a couple of weeks back, or like, yeah, I think it was a couple of weeks back, yeah. It was like really good. Thank God I didn't get spoiled on it, because I actually thought I was going to get spoiled, like, on the Splatfish, but surprisingly, believe it or not, I didn't, because, like, I just went ahead, like, went on YouTube and nearly forgot about it, because it went on, like, as soon, it went on at around, like, 10, and I was still in school. Yeah, we won this one. Boom. Got some more clout. Okay, then. So I'm guessing after Salsa Defender, I become a Salsa Champion. Hopefully, I could get to a Salsa Champion before the Splatfest ends. But I'm not going to get to it in this video, obviously. Alright, so here we go. Last match that I'm going to record, and yeah. I actually went ahead and rented uh, Splatoon 2 a while back, but there was a twist at the end, of course. Oh my god, no, no, no! My god. Okay, they're kinda dominating us right now. Alright. So, basically, I rented Splatoon 2. It is kind of a funny story. Kind of an ir ir ironic story, actually. I don't know. But, like, I rented Splatoon 2, right? I went ahead and rented it, and then as soon as I get home from renting it, I just have a big realization. I'm like, oh my god, I nearly forgot about something. And I forgot about the fact that I can't, like, play online, because I don't have the online, like, uh, Nintendo Switch Online service. Thankfully, I have it now, but only for a couple of months, probably. I got, like, the three-month version, or... Did I? Yeah, I got the three-month version. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got. The, yeah, I got the three-month version. So it's gonna be a couple of months until. It's gonna be a couple of months until then. I will. I actually just decided to improvise, and I was just like, okay, I'll take this game back in a couple of days. But until then, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and play the campaign mode a little bit more, like 100% it, collect all the. Uh, sunken scrolls and stuff. Basically all that. Oh my god! And it was an Octoling with an Octo Brush. How fitting. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not looking so good for the last game. Okay. Uh, 
Ah. Gotta go ahead and try and... Get the... God. Let's hope so. Dang it! No, we, we lost that one. Oh, no, we won! Oh, my God, that's... Oh my god, I nearly jinxed myself on that one. Thank god. Yes, we won that one. Alright. Well, that's it for this video. Please like this video and subscribe. And tell me in the comments below, what do you like better? Salsa or guacamole? Anyways, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like this video if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.